Where's my bag? What bag are you talking about? The bag where I have my personal stuff in. Where is it? Oh, okay. Um, the one you always lock up. Um, yes, um, the house is, is yet to be arranged. I, I mean, uh, the luggage, I mean, okay, we'll find it later. You look my bag later. I want that bag right now. Stop looking for my bag right now! Rachel, please, not now. I'm looking for something. It's very important. Dad, here. Yeah. I'll be traveling to Nigeria. What? Mom. Mom, not again. Ah, don't worry. I won't be long. But mom, I hope you will celebrate this year's Christmas with us. Yes, I will. Okay, mom. I just want to be sure. Because last time we celebrated without you. Doing Halloween and you didn't come. Honey, are you still going back there? Yeah. No. Children, don't worry, your mom is not gonna stay for too long this time. We already talked about it. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you so okay, much, darling. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Mm. 
Gloria. Ah. <laughs> okay, how are you? Good afternoon. Thank you. How are you? Oh. Was he crying? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rachel. How are you? I'm fine. Eh? Yeah. So it's true. So you've been in Lagos and has refused to come and check me. Eh? It's not fair, even a phone call, not even one. Okay, Gloria, you know I have been very busy. You know I'm a busy man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you say. I know now. Uh, uh, is it not you again? You've been very busy. That's why you cannot even call. It's all right. Look at this, my beautiful How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. In terms of when last did you speak with mom? I knew you were going to ask this question. Is it really necessary? Of course it is. Uh, uh, is it not mommy you I'm talking about? Is your mom for Christ's sake? I spoke to her a couple of months ago. Ah, uh -huh. I knew it. Your own mom. A couple of months ago. Sam, come on. Come on. You don't care about anybody but yourself. Huh? Gloria, do you realize that I have a family? I have a career. I have things that I'm doing. I have a life myself. Of course, we all do. But family comes first, Sam. Let's take some bread. Let's go. Okay, you're looking good. What happened to you? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Okay, please, let's go on. going to be fine. I told you. I know our son is going to be fine. And um, I particularly like the fact that he's grown up to be a good kid. But he still needs to get in touch with... The... I don't want him to get in touch with anyone. <sighs> he's already searching. Do you understand? And it is our job to help him find it. Do you understand? As, our, as, as parents, it is our own duty to guide our children as they grow. That's the first, the most important thing you must remember in Nigeria. Family first, you know. Honey, I'll see to that, okay? Okay. So, I knew it would come to this one day. Great, then let's do the right thing. Hmm? I'll do that. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Honey, I'm going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss you too. I'll miss you too. Please. What time you take it easy? You say what 
just get off this there. Eh? Yeah, don't tell me you're sorry, please. I hate to hear that word. Don't tell me you're sorry. All of that you've made a mistake. Mr. Kamaru, you are the cause of all this rubbish. You are the cause. And I don't care how you go about this mess. But please, I want you to fix it as quickly as possible. You are very sorry. Don't tell me you're sorry. I keep telling you, I don't want to hear that sorry. You are the cause of all this rubbish. If you had followed the original plan that I gave to you, we would not be talking about this right now. What is even wrong with you, for Christ's sake? You told me you wanted to add some urban designs. I agreed with you. I said, okay, fine, no problem. But I specifically gave you an instruction. Do not reduce the size of my column. You're sorry, Sam. If you say, if you say you're sorry again, I will give you a dirty slap. If I hear I'm sorry from you again, you will see what I will do to you. But, but sir, we can still correct it with thick mortal, sir. You're a madman. Look, let me tell you something. You're a very young man. And you have your future ahead of you. Don't, don't start like this. If you start like this, you will, you will become nothing. If anything happens to this building in future, I will be the one to be blamed for it. I will go to jail for it. Do you know what that means? You are sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Be sorry for yourselves. I don't care how you go about it, but this is what I want you to do. You see those beams upstairs and those columns? Please correct it. And it is all on your expenses. I have no business with it. Yes, bye bye. Sorry, sir. You're welcome. So I specifically told you that I don't want this crazy business in my house. And you You vehemently, you intentionally go against my instructions, right? Sam, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not what you think. I, I was just... Yeah, you, 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 you are, you are, you are. That one. Just that I, I was done with the chores and I, I, I decided to... Um,
So keep on searching. Just go, I'll send you more money. All right, thank you. Man. Oh, Sam, you sent for me? Yes, I did. Uh, please sit down. Okay. Um, you see, I need a favor from you. Okay, what's it? I'm having issues with my architects and I'm going to need another one. <sighs> the firm needs a professional. Well, the firm has decided to bring in a professional who will train our boys in architecture and other fields. Okay. Do you know Joel Sige? Joel Sige? That's, that's my very good friend from the university. Oh. Yes, it's just that we have lost contact. I haven't spoken to him in a very long time. And I haven't seen him either. Ah, that's that's good. That's the professional we're expecting. My goodness. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. It should be in about mm, six months time. You see, Joe Sigurd's wife is heavily pregnant. He seems to have some domestic issues. You can see that now. And um, she, I think she's six months gone already. So he needs to settle all that, sort that out before moving into Lagos. Um. Frank, pardon my curiosity. How come you know so much about Joel? Joel Sige is my in-law. And that's a secret. Fine, fine. A secret between, between us. That's right. Uh, but you see, the problem is this. Frank, I don't have six months. I need an architect as quickly as possible. ASAP. I have too many projects on my hand right now and I need somebody to be in charge of all those projects. That makes it all easier, since you two are friends. But the bills will be on you. No problem, I, I, I don't mind. As long as he's here, as quickly as possible, I'm fine with it. I'll take care of the bills. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Huh? One more thing. Um, Ogas invited everyone for his birthday. And for those that are married, you must come with your wife. So, you can't escape this one. Hello, Frank. Please forget that man with his wahala. We all know the only thing he knows is drinking, partying, and women. He knows absolutely nothing about this architectural business. Don't worry, my brother. We'll be there. You'll be there now? Yes, of course. Good. Take care. Oh, boy, how far now? I did, my brother. No, don't talk. Um, Joel. Yeah. Yeah, no, don't talk now, of course. I think I know the guy. Ah, oh, no, no, Jesse. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nobody actually think I'm. John and my guy from you know uni days from uni Ben now. I tell you now. Yeah, no, not true. Yeah. In after uni Ben. Yeah, it's uni Ben. I tell you, see that guy. That guy, you know what we call him? Mm. Sketchy. 
or fast fingers. So hmm. for that guy was very good. Down to good. He could sketch a chopper in like five minutes. Eh? That, that guy, but I trust him. I believe him. Yeah, that guy, me and I'm wrong things now. Hmm. Get from the same place. Mm -hmm. Put everything together. I'm telling you, he was really, really very good. My, my very close friend. Everything we 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 do up together. Then things now became very rough for the two of us. Because that time my papa can't die. Hmm. One fire incident like that. The previous year, my own papa died. So hmm. things was really, really, you know, very, very tough for us. But we survived. I now met one babe like that. Right. Was my papa rich. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so she was taking care of me and you know Joel's expenses, paying for her food. Your papa self died. Uh -uh. But they built everything. Yeah. Boom. So me and uh, Joel, we all right. Not his boy. We take care of things. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. What a memory. I'm telling you, man. Don't be sporty. So, what are your proceedings? Well, Joel is coming in next month. Next month. I tell you, sir, I go follow the guy talk. Wait, wait, sir. It's no longer six months. It's no longer six months. So the moment I told him, the moment I called him, and he realized it was me, I said, look, this is Sam speaking. So, 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 so. The guy, <laughs> he was very happy. He said, man, uh, guy, that he will come in. That yeah. only for that six months thing when they tell you, say, you know, he was going, he's going to come in. Another thing is this. All those expenses that you're expecting me to pay, uh, I don't need to pay it again because he called the company. Yes, and told them that he'll be free next month. So they said, okay, no problem, come over. We'll take care of your bills, we'll take care of uh, your accommodation, everything. So everything now don't sort out now. You mean, it will come on your own bill on now? The, no, on the company's bill. Oh. Company go pay for all those things now. <sighs> I don't need to pay again. No shaking. Ah, no, I don't see you don't use one stone. You two best. Black car, exactly. No, don't need to waste time again. I mean, I can't want to go now. I mean, I could prefer. No, voila. How are you? Ah, good morning, ma. Hi, sir. It's fine, ma. Good morning. Oh, not again. Where are you going? The spirit led me here. What happened? Auntie, don't just bother. I'm not coming to your house. I am not. What is it, Monke? Speak to me. What happened? Ma, you see, this is my body. It's mine. I own it. And it's only me that feels the pain. What really happened? I was about to take her back when the spirit said she come here at once. Okay. Yesterday, Sam's boss had a birthday party and he took me there. He now bumped into a, an old friend. He introduced me to her. And later, I didn't see him again. I, it was getting late. I now called him on phone. When I called him, he, when he came, I asked him where he was. That was all. It became a fight. Just because I asked him. And he has been, he has been beating me throughout the night. Eh? I, I, I'm so worthless before him. What is it each time? Just a woman. That's what he always say. I'm not happy in, in the marriage. Why? Why? Eh? Okay. Everybody's talking about me. In the market. In the church. Our neighbors talk about me. I can see that truly I don't have an aim in life. Each time I see my husband, I am uncomfortable. I am sad. His touch is like a bite on me. His voice scares the living daylight out of me. Eh? I'm tired of this marriage. 
everybody is saying that I am not good enough and that is why my husband beats me. He, they keep saying things. Relax. Okay? At night he becomes a Romeo. Just to have his way, his way on me. He would tell me many sweet things. Then in the daytime he becomes a monster. He's a beast. Look, look at me. My life is crumbled. Look at me. Look at my face. He keeps beating me. Look at me. Look at me. And he, my, my life is worthless. I want to die. I don't want to live again. Shh, okay. You are reacting to those words. And you will not be able to change things until that thought inside of you is conquered. Oh, yes. Nobody. I mean, nobody can do it but you. Your friends can't do it. Your relatives can't do it. I cannot do it. Your husband cannot do it. Not even riches and wealth can do it. How? You don't need people to tell you that you're strong before you know it. You don't need people to tell you that you are free before you know it. Okay. Until you change that thought that is going on in your head, nothing can change. And it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I am talking about what people say about you. I am talking about what you believe about yourself. Okay. I raised you all up in faith. I gave that to you. But when you got married, you left out your beliefs. Yes, I, I, Wrong, care. Okay. When your parents died in that collapsed building in Oshodi, I was called from work. I rushed to your school and I took you home. You had nothing. No clothes, no shoes, only your school uniform. The sandals you had on and your school bag. Because everything you had was gone. But I saw something in you. I saw a future so bright. I saw strength. I saw power. I saw you growing up a strong woman. Not minding that your parents were dead. Okay, I saw all these qualities and I toiled to make sure you got your degree so that you can live your dreams. <laughs> but if you are telling yourself that you are nothing, then you are telling me that I wasted all those years for nothing. Okay, where is your belief? I believe in the God Almighty. And it was this belief and faith that I have in God that helped me to raise you up. You, Maya, and John. It was this same belief that helped me to be strong when I lost my husband. And I raised all of you up alone. Auntie, everybody needs a help. I know. But you cannot claim to be something that you do not believe. If you believe that you are nothing, then you are nothing. If you believe that you are unlovable, you will always be unloved. You may smell nice. You look beautiful. You may look pretty. Speak fluently. But none of that will overcome that belief you have in your heart. Don't let anybody put you down. Don't allow people to ridicule you. <laughs> if they say that you are nothing, tell yourself, I am something and more. If they say that you are unattractive, tell yourself that you are the most beautiful in the whole wide world. And I am just tired. I am tired. <laughs> Wrong care. You cannot 
claim something that you do not believe. Never. Hey, oh, sir. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm glad you located it. Um, please, be comfortable. It's very hard to have yeah. located, please. Oh, quite a modest place you have here. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah, um, I can see that you're settled in. Yes, I have. But it's just that the traffic is just terrible in this state. Ports cannot be compared to it. <laughs> Why are you looking at me that way? Just what, what are you doing dressed this way? <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing? You see me holding a knife and with an onion, you're asking such questions. Please have your seat, the food will soon be ready. I thought you mentioned that you're married. Yes. You didn't come with your wife all the way from Potaka or what? Uh, yes, I'm married. My wife is here, is here with me. So if your wife is here with you, what are you doing in the kitchen? Your wife is supposed to be in the kitchen cooking. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. By the way, please, can you please call her for me so I can say hi to her? She's not yet back from work. Oh my God. <laughs> you even allow her to work? Oh. So you are in the same world with those men who don't allow their wives to work? Yes. And that's because the duty of a woman is to stay in the house, cater for the family, cook meals for her husband, and not the other way around. So I smell something burning. You might want to check what you put on the fire. Oh, see what you have caused my food. <laughs> situation. Father, I'm hopeless. I am helpless, Father. Only you. Only you, Father, I know. Hey, you're looking so good. Hi, you too. Wow. <laughs> nice to have you here. Oh, thank you. Well, so, is this where you make your hair? Yeah, this is where I make my hair every now and then, especially when I'm in the country. It's fine. Yeah, thank you. You make this hair now? Yeah, I just did this. Oh. Yeah. It's good. Oh, thank you. Okay, um, did you come with a bit? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, um, I don't know. Um, okay, nice. um Paula, please, can I have something to... Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, these are just the, some of the collections. I have other ones too. <laughs> wow, these are nice. Oh, thank you. You made this? Yes. Wow. <laughs> And you're hidden here? Oh my god. Oh, look at this pattern. It's so beautiful. <laughs> my sister and come into our world. Oh my god. I could connect you to people who are in the same field with you. Wow. And they will pull you immediately. This is nice. Wow. Thank you. So beautiful. Claire, you don't know. My husband reacts negatively to such things. What? He will. Why would he? This is not office work now. You see, they will send you the design via email. You work on it and you send it back to them and they send your money right back to you. 
Wow. Listen, I know some white folks who could kill for African designs. Girl, you'll be the bomb. What are you doing? See, my husband wouldn't buy such an idea. He wouldn't. Why wouldn't you buy it? Have you shown him all this? Which man in these days wouldn't appreciate his wife doing such a lovely handiwork? My husband doesn't even appreciate the ones I make and wear. Let alone to appreciate the one I'm going to sell. <laughs> now, can't be that all. Are you serious? Seriously. Do you know that I don't make this piece in his presence? Huh? The day he saw me making one, he beat the hell out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. So what would you do with the contacts I'll give you? Well, I... I, I will try, Sean. You don't need to try. You need to work hard. The world needs to see this. The world needs to see what you can do. We have to work together. Seriously. It's a beautiful world. Oh my God. How can somebody spend all this money and then you're not getting them, you know, their money's worth? It's, it's, it's total rubbish. Ah, uh, no. This guy make it total mess. I said it. I, I think his lessons should be Thank you very much. You can say that again. How can you say you went to school and graduated? You call yourself an architectural engineer and you make a mess like this. And I'm afraid, dude. Maybe this is not correct. It could ruin your career and then lead to the collapse of his beauty. Just imagine. Just imagine. They want to ruin my life. Yeah, they will succeed. Uh, it's okay. Bye. We'll work on it and uh, get back to you. Joe, I have no doubt that you will do a very fantastic job here. Uh, you know, I've heard of all your exploits, both in Portacourt, Abuja, and uh, what have you. Just do what you have to do here. Yeah. You remember those days in school, right? Sketchy finger. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So, all right. I'll, I'll, work on, I'll work on this and get back to you. The correction plan. Yes, yeah, do this. Please do that so I can, you know, forward it to the appropriate offices. Oh, all right. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Right. I really appreciate that. Oh, all right. Thank you. I'm sorry, honey. Don't worry, very soon you'll be free from this, okay? I'm sorry. Come in. Come in. Oh. Good day, sir. Good day. How are you? Welcome. Good day, ma'am. Good day. Sir. I brought some documents for you from oh, the office. Oh, okay. To sign. There you go, sir. Oh. Serving, I am sorry, I'm not interested. Honey, it's fine. Oh, no, I'm no, way. it's no okay. Way. Uh, I, I do the serving, okay? But your friend is not cool with it. Don't mind that man is not cool with anything, okay? Just, just relax, okay? Then let me do the serving. No way, you are guests, okay? Just relax, I will serve, okay? Oh, 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 I will be back. So, 
How are you? I'm fine. Your <sighs> first pregnancy? Yes. <laughs> I understand how you feel. How many kids now? Uh, two. A boy and a girl. Wow, that's lovely. Thank you. I wish for that too. I would have loved the girl first. <laughs> Don't worry. When you have your second pregnancy, you have a baby girl. I pray so. What happened to your face? Oh, nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> a fall. Uh, a home accident, you know. A fall. Have I not warned you about speaking to Claire? No, she's only trying to give me an opportunity. What opportunity? To realize my dreams. Sir, please eh? take it easy. Are you mad? What dreams are you talking about? Don't I give you everything you need? Don't I make sure that you and the children are comfortable? And you're here speaking to me about dreams? No, Sam. You don't give me what I want. You give me what you want. You make the rules and adhere to them. You make the choice of my wear. You make the choice of my food. You make the choice of where I lie by the bed. Sam, you tell me who to talk to and who not to talk to. Where to go and where not to go. You denied me my career just because of my woman I'm married to you. Okay. Okay. It's okay. No! Let me be. It hurts me so much when I remember all the midnight oil I burnt at school. All ended in the kitchen. I am not asking for too much. All I am asking for is for him to empathize with me. You want me to empathize with you? How am I supposed to empathize with you when you have lost your place as a wife in my family? Sam, I had a dream before you met me. I thought you were going to help me to achieve it. <coughs> Sam, please, Don't it's okay. Mind your business, okay? Young lady, sit down. This is not about you. How dare you speak to me? Sir, oh, please. Okay. Honey. You now crazy. Ah! Honey. Out of the car now. Honey. Uh, what, what, what is going? On? Sir. What, what, what happened? I don't understand. He just hit her. This is your friend. I've told you, I do not like him. What is wrong, this uh. Sam? Are you serious? Matthew, what is wrong with you? You are so unprofessional for Christ's sake. I put you in charge of that place. You should handle everything there. How can people be fighting in your... Matthew, let me call you back. Yeah, come in. Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Please. Yeah, good morning. Please, I hope this is number 17. Yes, this is number 17. I'm looking for Mrs. Ronke. Mrs. Ronke. Is there a problem? No, there's no problem. We have a different friend from our office. Uh, let me have it. I'm the husband. Sir, you happy to sign here, sir? Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. All right. Bye. Bye. has been going behind my back talking with me. Just imagine. 
negotiating contracts and having dealings. Okay. Let's see how this plays out. First, I think I should seize her phones. And then her laptop. Let me see how she will communicate with the outside world. If she doesn't have these gadgets. Roger! Welcome. Where's my daughter? She's in her room. Just call her. Rachel. Yeah. Hey, Rachel. How are you doing? I'm fine. See what I got? I got you a teddy bear. I don't want a teddy bear. Oh, sweetheart, you've always told me that you wanted a teddy bear. So I specifically went out and got you a very special one. I don't want a teddy bear. Okay, baby, what do you want? I don't want anything for me. Rocky, what's going on? What have you been telling my daughter? I've not told her anything bad about you. Ask her. Are you turning my daughter against me? How? This is you know that your daughter is a sweet girl. So my daughter is smart. For that reason, she should disrespect me. Schedule this. You know what? Send them a mail. Tell them that the meeting has been moved to the 12th of March. You know, my son is going to meet me. I can't miss it for a day. That means you'll be leaving first thing tomorrow morning? I'll be leaving tonight. I'm taking the night flight. Tonight? Uh -huh. I'm taking a night flight and my husband called and I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? I know. I know you always me. <laughs> I know. Oh, come on, help me with my hair. Take this. You have to do something longer. Thank you. 
Okay, I'll take this. Ma! Um, cancel the trip. Have it. Schedule that meeting for next week Monday, okay? Sure. So, James, what can I offer you? There will be no need for that, ma. This one grand is bigger than whatever you want to offer me. So, what do you think we can do? What can we do about this? Huh? So that they can start enjoying their marriage. What can we do? Ma, even the family, we're tired of our brother's attitude. We've tried talking to him, but he doesn't listen. And the most important thing is, he dislikes mom with fashion. And our dad wasn't like that. Our dad was a peaceful man, meek and loving. I don't know where he got that attitude from. Oh, James, have you people tried talking to him as a family? As in bringing him closer and talking to him to find out why he behaves that way? We have tried several, but we wouldn't listen to anyone. Even if we invite him for a meeting, he doesn't come. James, can you recollect when this thing started? Ma, he has been like this for God knows how long. There must be something wrong with him. Something that you people have not been able to find out. There must be. Come in. Good day, Council. You're both welcome. So, what brings you here? Samson Freeman, you're welcome again. So talk to me. Well, I lost it. I completely lost it this time. She knows I hate the fact that I don't like her being on the phone for a very long time. But she won't listen. I mean, she was just laughing and blushing on the phone with whomever she was on the phone with. And it got me really angry. So I beat her. I beat her mercilessly and it felt really good. I really enjoyed it. But then again, I realized that I felt sorry afterwards. I I hated myself for doing it. How did you both meet? I met her at a grocery store. She was standing right there looking all beautiful. You didn't allow her to walk in spite of her being educated? Well, yes, I didn't allow her to work. I did not want her to be influenced by those gossip group and what have you. You know how you women are. I didn't want that. I, I mean, I'm comfortable. I take care of my family. I'm the breadwinner. I didn't want her to work. I could cater for all her needs and that of my children. So what was the need for her working? <laughs> Have you been married before? No, I haven't been married before. I love Ronke. She's my first love. 
Do you have kids? Yes, I do. I have two kids. One here. I strongly believe they are both in school right now. How would you feel if you have a daughter who you love so much and she goes through school and she's educated and she gets married to a man that maltreats her? How would you feel? Sincerely, madam. I don't know. I don't know how I would feel. Mr. Sam. Domestic violence is a very terrible thing. It can end everything that you have ever loved. Your reputation can become zero overnight. Permit me to tell you about myself. When I was 24, I got married to a man of 27. We love each other so much. Few years into the marriage, he started maltreating me. He, we had a son. Maxi, where is J boy? What is going on here? I, I am lost. Brother, the traveler. Mm. How are you? Yes. I'm the man. If Mohammed will not go to the mountain, the mountain will come to Mohammed. You lied to your sister Gloria that you're traveling. Mama, it's not like that. Look, the trip was cancelled. Okay? Please sit. I am not going to sit down. After all, you're not even happy to see me. Come, I don't talk like this. You know that's not true. What have we done to you? Why are you like that? What is wrong with you? What have we done wrong? Mama, you don't, don't I send care. you money when you it need it. It is not about money. 
It is about concern. It is about the love for your family, for all of us. How many marriages now? Two? Three. Have you forgotten, Claire? Just one month to their wedding and boom, brother disappeared. Uh -uh. What about uh, uh, Claire? That poor girl. That girl gave you everything. For after all the things she did for you and our family. How did you pay her back? You disappeared. Well, I am not here to talk about Claire. I am here to talk about Ronke. See, see, eh? If you don't love her, look at me. Take her back to the, her people. Why are you like this? Why? What have we done to you? I'm going to shift for me, John. I used to admire you when we were kids. But later in life, I regretted having you as a brother. Uh, but mommy, brother was not like this. So. I don't just know what happened. I don't know what happened. <sighs> brother, what happened to you? You totally changed since daddy died. What went wrong, brother? Huh? I trained you. I gave you the best education. I raised you up alone after your father died. Mom, you did not raise me up. So don't speak about raising me up. My father raised me and my siblings up. You were nowhere to be found when we needed you the most. What you were doing was moving from school to school, teaching other children while your own children wallow in pity. We were left to get up for ourselves. My father took care of us. He catered for us. Look at your daughter. My father and I raised her up. All you were interested in was collecting accolades, receiving awards for best teacher in school. But your own children, your own daughter, Gloria, could not even read and write. I said, I taught her how to read and write. And you sit there and talk to me about raising me up? No. And you have no right to judge me. No, Mom! I don't hate you. But our dad was ill. Yet, he cared for us. Where were you? You knew our dad was ill. You knew he was asthmatic. Yet, you would tell him to go into the kitchen to cook! And clean the house for you. How shameful can you be? Here you are. Acting all sanctimonious. Dad! What are you doing? What are you doing? 
keep you when you need your condition, Dad. What am I supposed to do? Oh, but I told you that your condition is not good. You're not supposed to be sweeping. I can't let all this place stay like this. And I'll just watch and I won't do anything. I have to keep the place clean since none of this around you. But you know your condition, Dad. It's alright. That is all good. Steve is fine, Dad. Steve is fine. Okay. See, I, 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 I don't like the way you talk to me, but that's not she came. Dad, Dad, I'm really disappointed. Oh. You can even imagine. You are the one sweeping the floor. You are the one cooking for us, and you are the one doing everything for us. Why she's out there doing nothing? Your mom is not doing nothing. She's doing something. Okay. She brings the money that we use to feed in this house. Huh? She's your mom, you need to give her that respect. Okay? So, what? Let me, let me, let me put the soup in there. Alright. These images keep reoccurring in my head. I have tried to make it stop. But it just won't stop. It just won't stop. It's okay, my brother. You have to forget about daddy's death. You know, it really touched all of us. I'm very, very sorry. I didn't know. I am very sorry. I didn't know that my actions caused pain for all of you. I thought I was doing my best for you all. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Please just forgive her. Not just for her sake, but for yourself too. Forgive her so you can be free from this shock. Yes. 
so you know this? How come you never talked about it? Leave my house. What? I want you all to leave my house right now. Sam. Sam. It's okay. It's okay. I'll talk to him later. I, I met someone who could help you. Who? A therapist. Therapist? Um, Joel, look, the last time I told you to take me to a therapist, you took me to a counselor. How does that even relate? A therapist, a counselor, they don't relate. I'm not cut out for that rubbish this time, okay? I am not caught out for it, Joel. Please, just let it be. Look, Sal. I never understood it was so severe. That you will have to stop coming to work. I thought it was just about your own care. I never knew it would affect our job, our friendship, everything. Hey, man. You are like a brother to me. Remember those crazy days in school? You always got my back. What exactly are you driving at? You will have to see a therapist. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. This gathering is not just for Sam. It's about all of us. There are times that we accumulate things that weigh us down and get us bottled. And they keep chopping into our lives step by step and get us destroyed. So Sam, how old are you? 44. Okay, Sam is 44. And uh, how old were you when your father died? I was about 18 or so. Okay, 18. So, if you do the math, that should be about uh, 26 years, right? Sam has been living with the father's death without moving an age. So Sam, how old were you when you noticed that your mother was contributing towards your father's ill health? I know he had asthma, right? I was about seven or eight. Seven or eight. Therefore, for more than 26, 28 years, Sam has been living with the feeling that the mother orchestrated the death of her father. And Sam has been bottled in this emotion and it has grown so much that it has engulfed him and overwhelmed him. Sam, what's in that bag? But Sam doesn't want to tell me what's in the bag. And he's been carrying the bag for more than 26 years. And he doesn't want to tell me what's in it. Sam, you have to let go of that bag. You just have to. Sam, that bag has caused us so much pain. Your mother, your wives, your daughter, me, and everyone around you. I 
you're still holding on to it. For what? Hey Sam, I strongly believe that your father is disappointed in you because here you are hurting people that he loves. Eh? Sam, I know. I know you love your father. And I also know how hard it is to lose someone that you love. But you must let go of that bag. Please. to drown my sorrows because it was traumatic it was hurting until I met one woman and she said why would you destroy your life why would you allow your life to be chopped inch by inch to die why would you allow yourself to be destroyed and you wouldn't achieve anything If I had not done that, I would have gradually, gradually been fading in you until I die. Therefore, Sam, give me the bag. Sam, give him the bag. Sam, please let it go. Let that bag go, Sam. Please. Give it to me. My son. Please, give him the bag. Let's go. I know that you believe this is all my fault. But we're all here to help you, Sam. Let it go. Let it go so that the soul of my husband, your father, can rest. I need you, Sam. I need my son. Please, Sam. Sam. 
Today I'll give you back some. Oh Lord, thank you. Good job, bro. Thank you, thank you bro. Thank you. God bless you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Sam. Welcome back, Sam. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your ex wife and the star, the brain, 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 the br